you good dude you okay you don't look okay anyways hello everyone and welcome back to our 1.19 series where we are exploring the wild update my name is the little red and in our last episode we made this nether hub hobbit hole and uh, I think it turned out pretty good. We made a safe little path from our Hobbit Hole starter base all the way up to our village over here. And we also made a uh, bubble elevator to get down to our skelly farm. And let me not burn my toes, but we made this lovely little skelly room. We've got our skeletons ready to give us XP and bone meal. And we made our lovely little uh, sorter room down here, which is very, very basic. But I have been working to really collect all of the bone meal. I don't really need arrows because now my bow officially has infinity. Now what we are going to be working on today is giving a home to uh, Pizza and Cloudy because uh, they've been sitting outside uh, on a lead. Uh, outside my house for uh, four episodes now so it's definitely time we give them a house build ourselves an animal barn give them a place to live but I also want to uh, work on creating a little uh, pond fountain right here which uh, this has been here since day one and I have seen in the comments that people want me to do something with this and uh, today is that day I am going to work on just uh, figuring out how I want to shape this animal barn for Pizza and Cloudy, so enjoy this time lapse.
Alrighty, everyone, we have finished making our animal barn and we have moved Pizza and Cloudy to uh, the new space. So let's go take a look. Now, as we come down our path from our starter house, I did start adding some of the lanterns, which these are the lantern types that I want to be adding around our whole area because, uh, well, mushrooms, because dark oak forest. But here is our path. I just did the same kind of fencing with the oak leaf blocks and dark oak fences. Added some of the lanterns as well. And guys, we were able to make a friend and uh, had to dye their color yellow because fashion, but they are just so cute. So we need a name for our little doggo friend. So comment below what we should name our new little puppy friend. Puppy aside, here is the entrance to our animal barn. Oh, the sheeps are already making themselves very comfortable, but we've got a double wide gate in case I wanna bring in a horse or anything. But here we go, guys. Here is the courtyard of our animal barn. And I am loving it. We made a little bit of a pond here, put some big and small drip leaf. I have a lantern floating kind of on a iron uh, chain to kind of just create a floating lantern vibe. But we put glow berries, we put some flowers everywhere, a lot of hay bales, some coarse dirt. We added the packed mud and the packed mud bricks. We've added some little uh, stones, some little boulders around. <laughs> chickens are swimming but this is what we got and I absolutely love this this is such a cozy vibe for a place and here is what I did to make an animal barn hobbit hole and I think this turned out amazing I love the overhang with the campfires but if we go inside use some of the mangrove wood for our edging Here's what we got guys, and there's Pizza and Cloudy. To the right, we just got a lot of foliage, got a chest in the corner. On the other side is where there's actually more of the blocks, except you can't really see, but there's a smoker, a composter, a crafting bench, and then I put a Fletcher's table in there just cause it kind of looked cool in my mind. A little bit kind of like uh, something that would belong in a farm. You good dude? You okay? You don't look okay anyways but this is what we got guys so we have two more stalls to put some new animals i'm thinking we'll put some horses in here we found two more llamas as we were uh building in the time lapse i was able to grab some slime some packed blue ice and some dark blue uh coral blocks so uh, got that from a wandering trader but now we have two more llamas that I tamed and we get to name them. The llamas have a bunch of hay bales and they have some water in the corner so they've got everything they'll need. I created a pulley system with some hay bales getting kind of hoisted up is kind of what I was going for here. I added some of the mud, rooted mud, I think we call this. But, uh, hi sheep. Just put some of the rails around the hay bales like they were wrapped up. I used the grindstones to create that pulley system. And then I kind of hit a bed uh, right in here. I added some yellow carpets to make it look like there is some straw that is falling out of the hay bales. And then just added some uh, barrels to this back corner. But uh, I absolutely love this place. I think it's beautiful. I am having so much fun making these hobbit hole style builds and i think i'm getting better at it uh for sure next on our agenda we are going to start working on that fountain slash pond that is alongside our path so i am going to go over there start working on that so enjoy the time lapse
Alrighty guys, you ready to see our completed pond and fountain? Here we have it. I will throw on our shaders to just really add to the vibes. I have some floating lanterns to just really add to the vibe of our dark oak forest. But we have glow berries, we've got small drip leaf, big drip leaf, we've got sugar cane, we've got some flowers around. I textured the inside of the pond with a bunch of different variants of mossy cobble, mossy cobble brick, we've got cobblestone, we've got moss, we've got the cracked brick, we even have tough as well, and just regular stone, but we just turned this into such a beautiful pond. I absolutely love it. I use the extinguished campfires to just create a little bit of a dock that we can come and walk up on, but I think this is amazing. I am so happy with this. Like, this is so cute. I'm proud of myself. And uh, you may have noticed we we killed uh, a captain on our uh, in our time lapse. So no one's gonna mess with us now. Now that our pond is complete, we do have some friends we need to go grab and place inside our pond. And we are back to put our new little friends in their pond. And we'll see if they like it. So we've got our white one, yellow, pink, and brown. Oh, look at them. <gasps> Yay. Look at them running around in the weeds. Yeah, let's put some shaders on. I think they like it, guys. Also, now that we have axolotls officially, we need names for these ones. So let me know in the comments what we should name the white one, the brown one, the yellow one, and the pink one, wherever they're floating around. Yeah. Let me know some uh, name suggestions for our axolotl friends. And, uh, oh, I just fell on the big drip leaf. It's fine. I'm just chilling with the axolotls. But that is all the time that I have for today's episode. We were able to make the cutest axolotl pond by our starter base area. And then coming up this path, we were able to make ourselves an animal barn hobbit hole. I love this little courtyard we have right here for all of our animals, but the inside is so beautiful. Pizza and Cloudy have a lovely little place to live, and we have two new llama friends, and uh, I think you guys know what this means. We need two more names for our llamas, so let me know in the comments below. Besides getting two new llamas, we also were able to tame a little puppy. So we definitely need a name for our little puppy friend here, so leave your name suggestions for our dog here in the comments below. Thanks for watching today's episode. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and I will see you next time.